Goranges, we're on view yet again, this time for our sale on the 11th of October. Warehouse has got an interesting mixture of furniture. A couple of things I've picked out. Look at this. This is a Ed Seiler of um, Lignitz. Interesting thing. It's got sort of locking sidebars. And then you open up what look to be drawers, but they're actually uh, painted tin with drop fronts to them. And the, these box metallic unusable. Uh, luxury, economy and security. So uh, great fun, that. Um, we don't have a key for it, but perhaps one could get a lock sorted or a key made for the lock. I don't know. Anyway, nice thing that. That is lot 103. Across the way there is a um, sort of locker cabinet. It's got age. It's a 19th century one. Lot 20, exactly the sort of thing that um, the decorative market are after, unusual things. So uh, quite a few interesting bits of furniture. Uh, come along and have a look. We'll go over the road and look at the smalls. So over in the main cell room, an array of smalls as ever. Large consignment of Venetian glass figures are in the cell. You'll see numerous lots. This is one of them, lot 1392. There's a one in front of all of these numbers this week. And uh, well, that's sort of all you could ask for in Venetian color glass figures, really. Plenty of others um, scattered throughout the auction. Um, how about a clock? It's 19th century French, bronze and ormolu, Paris maker. Quite nice with the lady, a little bit different. Um, that is lot 1389. There's a number of wines scattered throughout the cell that look to all be in good, clean condition. So hopefully they're, they're beautifully drinkable. Um, otherwise, skeleton clock in passing. Dan pointed this lot out. This is lot 1383, a, uh, a study collection of porcelain, namely because it's all bashed and battered and this was once wonderful, but it's been chopped off there. This is even more artful. Apparently this was once the top of a great big vase and it was chopped off. And then not only that, but they cut the bottom out in other vase and stuck it in there to, to make it look like it was meant to be like that. So uh, interesting items, there's a Daryl Rimple plate showing there in the same lot, 1383. So curiosity lot for collectors, probably still make good money because the, uh, the Chinese love these sort of things. In the corner there, I've been seeing these floating around the kitchen for a while. Look, 1415, this is rye pottery, very distinctive colouring. Um, it's stamped actually Dicker pottery, so not quite right, it's Dicker, it's Sussex pottery. And this one is dated 1813. And then over the back here, we have this jar with a pierced cover inscribed for Jane Butler of Seddlescombe, 1815. Rather lovely, look, 1415, nice sort of local pieces, quite a few collectors out there for them. Elsewhere, lots of lovely little knickknacks and collectibles over the back. Two oils by Lucien Potronat, who specialised in those sort of Cote d'Azur scenes. Lot 1589, 1590, estimates around about 250, 300 pounds a piece. Uh, there's a lovely case over here. Look at this, this is lot 1347. Nice crocodile case. You can see from the back, it did once have the sort of fittings to hold glass toilet jars and the like. That's all been removed, but still the, uh, the locks look original and what have you. Still got a bit of character to it. And then Dalton figures, quite a number of those scattered about. Spelter figures, few of those scattered about. How about a Chinese hat? Everyone should have one, 1336. There we go, look at that, rather splendid Mandarin hat with the original red hair to the top and its original box. Unusual thing, that would have been worn for formal occasions, Dan says, with the full flowing robes, etc. Over here, one more thing to show you that I like the look of. Uh, how about a nice Charles Knight? The number of Charles Knight works in the sale and that rather lovely pen and watercolour, really where his forte was, is a view of Cornwall uh, near Trevone. And uh, that's lot one, one six one seven. So also a good selection of silver in the sale and a mixture of jewelry as ever. The jewelry was on fire in the fine sale this week. It's, it's making loads and loads of money. So if you're thinking of selling jewelry, it does look like now is a good time to do it. We're taking in as ever for our weekly sales every Tuesday and Wednesday. Come along, we're we'll very happily have a look, give you estimates and hopefully put it into a sale and make lots of money for you. So there we are. Have a look at the sale online. Anything else you're interested in, give us a shout, drop us an email, and we'll be happy to reply. Thank you.